Hey everybody, I'm Kelly with the SuburbanSoapbox.com and this is Landon. And today we are making some easy candy apples just in time for fall. Candy apples are super simple to make. I know everybody knows what a candy apple is, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to make them at home so you can share with your kids. You ready? Yep. All right, let's get started. We're going to take a smallish size apple and you wanna use an apple that's pretty firm, juicy, crisp, obviously, as an apple should be. I like to use a Granny Smith apple only because I like the green contrast against the red. Landon prefers a red apple. Just because, because they're bigger. Yes, because they're bigger. So we're going to take the stem out of the apple so you're gonna twist the stem out of the apple. If you twist it just a couple times, it comes right off. I did that all the time and I forgot. And then you're going to take a stick. So I got these uh, corn dog sticks and you can get them on Amazon. They're, they come in a pack of like 100 and they're great for candy apples, caramel apples, corn dogs, obviously. And you're just gonna take the pokey end, super technical term, and push it about halfway through the apple. Got it? Mm -hmm. That's probably that's good. good. Yeah. yeah. So one thing to know about apples, if you buy your apples at the grocery store, they're coated in a protective wax and the wax is going to not allow your candy to adhere to the apple. You do have to give them a little bath in some boiling water. And it's super quick and easy to do, and we just give them a dunk to prep our apples. So once you have the stick in the stem end of your apple, you're gonna take your apple and just give it like a little swirl, kind of like a hot tub for your apple. And just keep it in there for a couple seconds, and you'll be able to see like the wax is coming off because the water is like kind of sticking to the apple a little bit more. While Landon is dunking our apples in the water, we're gonna start on the sugar. And to do that, we're going to add two cups of sugar, just regular white granulated sugar, to a pot. So I added water to the sugar and it's starting to boil. Got it? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna give it a little stir just to make sure that the sugar doesn't burn on the bottom. And then we're gonna use corn syrup. So we want a quarter cup of corn syrup, just regular white corn syrup. And to make it not stick, it's my measuring cup, we're gonna spray a little bit of cooking spray in there. And then it'll just slide out. So a quarter cup, good job, buddy. We're gonna pour that in there. I'm gonna give that a stir. Bring it to a boil, and you want all of the sugar to dissolve. You don't want the little bits of granulated sugar in there, so you wanna make sure that it's all of the sugar is dissolved and your solution, your sugar solution is going to be like clear. It won't be cloudy anymore. It'll just, you'll be able to see right through. It'll look like water. One tool you're going to need for this project, just to make sure that your sugar is exactly where you need it to be, so it sticks to the apple instead of just like running off, is a thermometer. So I like an instant read thermometer, or you can just get a regular candy thermometer. Um, super easy to find. Any cooking store has them, or you can get them on Amazon. So you want your sugar syrup to be between 300 and 350 degrees. That is the hard crack stage for making candy. So now, Landon is going to put a few drops of red food coloring into the very hot, boiling yep. sugar and not burn okay. himself. Okay, so you put drops? in put in like four or five. We want it to be like, Super vibrant red, and I'm gonna stir. That's fine. Okay, that's good. And I think we're good. I think that's a good color. So just know that when you put any type of liquid that's cold into your sugar syrup, it is going to bubble up violently. So you want to just be aware so you don't burn yourself. Um, try not to put too much in at a time. 
and then we're gonna turn this off because we're good to go. Now that we're ready to dip, we're just gonna, you're gonna dip your apple in and then roll it to coat. So we're gonna put the apple in. I'll, we're gonna do one at a time. And you're just gonna roll it around to coat the apple completely in the sugar. And there's still a lot of bubbles in here, but you can just let them kind of roll off. Or pop. And to let them cool, you need to put them on a baking sheet and line it with either the Silpat mat, like I did here, or you can put down a piece of parchment, but make sure you coat that parchment with some cooking spray or your candy apples are going to stick. Yeah. So we just kind of wait until it starts to get a little soft here so that you don't have a whole big puddle at the bottom of your apple. If you want to put sprinkles on, you got to do it quickly before it starts to harden. You can see like the one side, it's not sticking. So you have to work fast. And now we have sprinkles everywhere. So that's how easy it is to make homemade candy apples. So and they, not to eat. Oh, you can take a bite. It's like a lollipop. It's so good. Hard to bite. The hog candy. That's why I'm sucking on it. They're definitely easier to eat if you cut them into slices, but this They're is my still favorite awesome. way. Yeah, this is what reminds me of my childhood totally. Sweet, tart, perfect, right? Mm -hmm. The great Halloween awesome. or fall treat. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out thisbourbonsoapbox.com for more easy recipes. And if you love this video, please be sure to give us a like and subscribe. Thanks again. See ya. Bye.